All right, y'all. Welcome back to another edition of Right and Nerdy Gaming. You got Chris here with you, playing more of Half-Life Opposing Force. We're still in the Foxtrot uniform mission. We've just been run off by, I don't even know what, something big, something bad. Let's Let's see where we are. There he is, right there. Woo! I've only got two health and uh, no... HEV suit, in case you were keeping track. Oh, did I get him? Shit, did... Okay... You see that? There was another one. Oh my gosh. They're all over the place down here. Oh, crapola. Okay, so what I've actually, I've done, I've done a couple of things here. One is, just in case you were wondering, um, I, 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 I did a manual save because we're so low on health. Uh, also, Twitch updated recently since the last time I recorded Half-Life, so my voice might be slightly too loud or this game might be slightly too quiet because I had to readjust everything. Um, oh, I didn't realize there was batteries on the... Oh, shit. I've never had them on for that long. Okay. Up at the top of my screen, there's a battery recharging. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move with purpose here. Um, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Damn. Okay. This is going to be tough. Oh, good, and I have a cat on the bookshelf behind me, so he's going to jump down at some point and scare the absolute living daylights out of me. All right, um, let's go back, because I, I know I've got at least a 15-round mag here. Let's go back to this. I could use a grenade. Oh, actually, I might use a grenade. Nope, that was not enough. Okay, I think I had multiple. Oh, shoot, shoot. Put up a good fight. I think I got him right at the end there, but he managed to he managed to wing me with only two HP. <laughs> oh my gosh! I hope the audio is good on this one when I go back to check it because that that was that was primo. Okay, okay. I, I I've got I have seven forty mic mics. Oh god, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. You know what? Now is actually a good time. I'm just going to let the, the, the battery regen. I'm going to look up real quick on my phone. I was talking about this either on the podcast or one of the other Right and Nerdy Gaming um, shows, but I realized that actually, so I looked up the um, uh, Movie Gun Wiki database to try to figure out what that uh, rocket launcher was that we have. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that real quick um, and uh, pull that because... What I also found out is that this is not technically an M4 that I'm carrying, but I think it's the Colt model. It's either the 767 or the 676. Hang on. So it's, it's a Car 15 variant uh, is what it actually is. Half-life. 
Uh, let's see how. Let me find my... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's the MP5. Yeah, here it is. The Colt... I got it, I got it wrong both times, guys. Man, I, I'm flustered from the, from the baddies. It's a Colt Model 727. That's what it is. Uh, with the M203 grenade launcher. Uh, and so, yeah, the Model 727 is a variant of the Car 15, which was the car f- carbine version of the M16 that was developed uh, back in the... Oh, there was the cat just jumping down. I'm glad I was explaining something instead of in the middle of combat. It was developed back in the uh, 60s and 70s, at about the same time the M16 was. It was deployed in the field in that time as the CAR-15 with special forces and stuff like that. So that's what this is actually, not an M4, apparently. Um, uh, And I say that because any time that I have gone against the Internet Movie Database uh, wiki guys, I've always been wrong. They do very good research. So the... Where is it? The missile launcher... Now, this one I, I didn't know about at all. This is actually an armburst uh, anti-tank weapon, uh, which is a, um, as I recall, I think made in uh, Germany, yeah, by Messerschmitt Bulkau Blom. My German's very rusty, so forgive me if I've gotten that a little bit wrong. But it's a 67-millimeter uh, single-shot, unguided anti-tank weapon. So it's meant to be kind of like the M72 Law. This one's obviously laser-guided and reloadable, so a little bit different. I'll show it to you real quick. I could use this here. So one of the interesting things that I didn't realize, so this, in real life, has a plastic counterweight in the back that is meant to uh, help, because it's a recoilless rifle, so help with the uh, the recoil. Generally, a recoilless rifle, the, the exhaust just vents out the back. So you can't use these kind of launchers inside because you would flame whoever or whatever's behind you. The back blast would be insane. This one was designed uh, so that that plastic counterweight actually diffuses the exhaust so it's safe to use inside of a building. So I wasn't too far off when I... Um, uh, cheekily called it a Piet rifle uh, on the first episode because the Piet rifle was an anti-tank weapon that the British developed for the same reason that you could shoot it inside. They gave it to the paratroopers in, in World War II. also did some research on the SPAS-12 here because the secondary fire, we're just going to pop one off here, uh, the keen-eyed who can actually see my rounds see that it shoots two. Uh, it's not a double barrel, so that kind of doesn't make too much sense unless they're trying to do a play on the fact that the SPAS-12 is actually selectable between pump action and semi-automatic. So if it's like a quick double trigger pull, we're going to call it that for now. Uh, anyhow, still the wrong magazine size on the uh, Colt model 727, uh, but that's okay because... Uh, uh, I don't mind having an extra 20 rounds. We're just going to say it's an aftermarket mod that the Marines did to these to these weapons. All right, let's... Now that I've got my nerves a little bit calmer, we're going to use the M203 to effect. And see, this is why you want to actually have fuses on your 40 millimeter grenades, uh, because I'm obviously shooting these incredibly danger close. Generally, there's a 30 meter fuse, so about 90 feet if you're American, um, or 30 yards. It's, it's close enough to the same. About a, a 30 a 30 yard 30 meter fuse, so it won't actually go off. With only two HP, I fragged myself. All right, we gotta let the gotta let the thing recharge again. Okay, let's just we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of fun. There's not yeah, it's dark back here. Okay, how am I seeing stuff when I die? I guess it's just giving that to me for fun. All right, well we could we could try this. We could try it. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay. 
itself fine. Oh yeah, also my frag grenades are fun because instead of being baseball grenades like you'd expect, these are old World War II Mark II grenades. The 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 Half Life games always have an interesting collection of firearms, both, you know, ones based in life and ones that are totally futuristic. Like for Half-Life 2, the submachine gun you d get is a, a H and K MP7. It looks totally Star Wars, but it's a at the time that they made the game a modern modern SMG. What if we frag him? Because that gives me time to get away. Is he still coming? I don't really want to know. I don't hear him. Oh, shoot. Ah, that wasn't enough. He just ran off, didn't he? Man, alive. This, I might be... I might be up Shit's Creek without a paddle here. I don't know if that second round did anything. That was a blind shot. Oh shit. Uh, now I'm just wasting 40 mic mics. Ooh! Uh, this is already not going the way I thought it was going to go. Okay. Okay. Freaked me out so much I alt-tabbed by mistake. That's funny. Okay. Well. What's this again? Don't think that'll help me. I mean, we can try it. There's no way, right? But we can try it. Because I can see just a little bit. Nope, not enough. Oh, yep. Uh, those things look like the uh, the energy weapons from the blue cloud, from uh, the, the intruder of uh, Star Trek 1, the motion picture. Which, by the way, I did a watch-along of. A much better watch-along than my Aliens watch-along, because I've actually seen the motion picture about 25,000 times. Favorite Star Trek uh, as a kid. Still has a very nostalgic place in my heart as an adult. Kind of funny. Okay, well. We just... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that was not enough. Okay. So just the saw is not enough. Uh, there it is. Okay. No! <laughs> I think there's two of these guys down here. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to run. Let's see if there's anything. Uh, Nope. I could not get away in time. All right. We're going to do some reconnaissance by death here and see if there's a way to get through this without depleting literally every one of my weapons, because that's kind of what this is looking like it's going to do. Let's see here. All right. There's one there as well. Yeah, okay, there's two of them here. All right, that's good. There's water back there. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. So maybe there's a way to cheese this. I might be able to jump down that water passage. This is actually it was reminding me a lot of there's a Jedi Knights level that's not unlike this. Where you're being chased by a bunch of what at the time they called I think crate dragons. But they're not crate dragons. I forget what the actual beast is in Star Wars. Let's see. I know it doesn't make me run faster, but, you know, we're going to pretend. And I'm going to save it while I have my nods recharged here. So, hi. You coming? Hi. Come here. Oh, okay. Well, that's I've attracted your attention already. I did not want to do that. That's weird. Why did the other one aggro but not that dude? Whoops, nope, not the wrong way. There's another one. Jeez. Okay, yep, nope. Oh, uh, so close. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. It's either that or I got to... Oh, man. <sighs> okay, I can't, I can't, nope, can't stay there. What if I... I might be safe under here. Okay. This appears to be a safe zone. I wonder if they can shoot me through here. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, they can get under here with me. That's not good. Not good. Okay, we're, we're going to leave them there and never go back to that place ever again. All right, we can go up or across. Acid boys, acid boys... Uh, we can't quite slide through there. Mm. All right, let's stay underwater then and see what that gets us. Okay. Man, the title of this video is Two Health. He <laughs> got one. Got to save. Shit. Got three. Save. Got four. Oh, my. Oh, they just keep coming. It's a respawn. Oh, my gosh. No. It's cruel to put that puzzle after the last one. Yeah, okay. I know. I know. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Uh-uh. Come on. Get me up. Get me up and across. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's hope... Oh, thank goodness for that. We did get some health. All right, hide back, hide back. 32, 32 health. Oh, man. Okay. We may have to burn a bit more ammo. We did also just get missile rounds, so that's interesting. Okay, this, this guy's smart. Okay, so is this guy. Oh, I missed that one completely. That was weird. They don't appear to be respawning now. Oh, not until one moves. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I've just figured out how this is coded. 
So as long as I don't pull aggro... <coughs> oh, excuse me. So this is a jumping puzzle, or I gotta go across there. I think I've gotta go across there. Okay. Close call, but I'll take it. Whoo! We got. Oh, oh, what the. Damn, those guys are no joke. Even with 47 health, they just took me out. There's no way I can make it over there, right? No, not really. I think even if I jumped on those, I wouldn't be able to quite make it. Oh, I'm in aggro range now. Ah, uh, shoot. I've done the wrong thing. Yep, so this is... Okay, all right. Well, at least it's not as cruel as I thought it was, because they did give me health, thank goodness. What, really? That's not... Mm. Well, I assumed I could pull that lever. Not a great use of the M4's capabilities, but... Uh, sorry, the uh, 727's capabilities, but... All right. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'm going to encounter more... Man, this really is living up to its name of... Oh, don't tell me there's... M motherfucker. Motherfucker. Come on out of there. Right, that one is dead. How many more of those do you think are in here? Oh, at least one more. Golly, Moses. You coming all the way out, or are you going to stop there, too? Fuck. Smarter than his brother. burning all of our... Oh, that's another one! Mm-hmm. This mission is really living up to its name. Oh, man. See, I thought the FU part was going to be all the spy stuff, or the special forces, you know, guys that were against us. All right. That's three. Do you think there's more down here? Oh, my God. They're not respawning, too, are they? That would just be the fucking worst.
Oh my gosh. It's a nest. Yep. Okay. Golly Moses. Keep the Spass 12 loaded. At this point, we are going to save it. Oh, we just loaded. Is it over? Oh, hell yes. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Thank goodness. Let's do it, guys. All right, y'all. That's where I'm going to end this episode because we've finally gotten out of the Foxtrot uniform mission. Oh, man. I uh, hope the audio was good on that. Uh, honestly, at this point, even if it wasn't, because my reactions were so good, because um, that scared that scared the crap out of me. I think I'm going to keep it. So if the audio is not the best, just bear with it, and uh, I'll listen to it after it gets posted to YouTube, and I'll tune it in next time. Uh, so, yeah. Don't forget, we got lots of other videos here on the channel, including more of the uh, Half-Life Opposing Force uh, series. I, I, I got a feeling, I mean, we've done a few of these now. We've got to be getting kind of close to the end. Maybe not. I might be wrong, but that's kind of the feel I'm getting. Um, so after this one concludes, we're going to go right into Blue Shift, and then we'll do Black Mesa, and then we'll carry on with the series from there. I'll eventually come back around and do Half-Life 1. Also, if anybody knows a modded version of Half-Life Decay, I think it is, which is the was the two-player co-op PlayStation game. If anybody's got um, if anyone knows either if there's a PC version that is multiplayer so that maybe Zach and I could play it together or if there's a single-player version of that floating around somewhere, I'd love to play it because I've never had a chance to and I'm kind of wanting to work through all of the Half-Life DLC before I do Black Mesa just for fun and then do Black Mesa right into Half-Life 2 in Episode 2. Um, I'll eventually get around to Alex, but I don't have an index, so I won't do that one chronologically because that would technically be in between Black Mesa and um, Half-Life 2, as I understand. But uh, anyhow, until next time, uh, make sure to give us a uh, give the channel a subscribe and a ring the bell so that way you get notified when we drop new videos. Uh, like and comment on this one if uh, if you would, and don't forget we have all the other great series on the YouTube channel. We have uh, the uh, podcast that we do from episode fifty on is here as Twitch vods. Uh, and you can catch us live on Twitch uh, every Sunday at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash right and nerdy. Uh, the rest of the podcast is anywhere good RSS feeds can be found, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Libs, and Verbal. And last but not least, go over and check out our website at www.writeandnerdy.com. That's www.writeandnerdy.com. Writeandnerdy.com. I lost my train of thought for a second. There it is. Go over there, drop us a line. we got a contact us page. You can also find links to our socials and our Discord where you can chat with us about all the nerdy things. Until next time, y'all, take care, stay safe, and don't have too much fun without us. Adios, y'all.